all um just a quick uh sort of sibelius no mouse challenge um what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to input the first phrase of fur elise um into sibelius using just the keyboard um um, I suppose I'm doing this because um, I want to show just how powerful sort of keyboard shortcuts can be in Sibelius uh, for kind of inputting your notes and sort of just getting getting like a really nice efficient workflow in the program. Um, you do have to use the mouse for certain things. You do have to use the mouse for, um, I don't know, making an initial selection or, you know, um, uh, inputting sort of the first notes and things. Um, but uh the vast majority of the work that you do on Sibelius can take place on the keyboard um so anyway i'm going to input the first phrase uh of fur elise um which i'm sure you're all familiar with unless you've like been living under a rock for like i don't know literally your entire life um so um yeah let's just let's just crack on cool so uh right it starts on an e and what i'm going to do the keypad on a the numeric keypad on a keyboard matches onto the keypad in Sibelius. So I'm just going to press 2 to select a semiquaver um, or a 16th note, um, if you're that way inclined. And yeah, then I'm going to start typing in note value. So we've got an E, and then it's a D sharp, and then another E, and D sharp again, B note, B D natural, so I put a seven there, D, C, and then it's a quaver, A. And move across to the next value with the right arrow. Change that to two semiquavers by pressing two, and it's a C. I'm going to move that down an octave by pressing command and down, or control and down if you're on a Windows device. And I'm going to keep typing in the notes. Oops. I think I want that down an octave, then it's G sharp, then it's another quaver I think here, yep, and then bum bum, it's D sharp, yep, dum. Nope, that's got to be down an octave. So command and down again. And then that's a quaver. Move across. Nope, I wanted that on the second one. Um, it's a C. But up the octave, so command and up. And then this is a crotchet, I think, to end the phrase. Right, there we go. So there's all the right hand notes. Fantastic. I'm just going to move back. I think I can press command and the left arrow to sort of move back bar by bar. Yep. Dum, dum. I think that's going to be control in the back arrow on a Windows device. Now, where does that start? I think the left hand starts here. So here, I'm going to press Command, Option, and Down. And that's going to move me to the stave below. Perfect. Good. I'm sort of getting to grips with some of these keyboard shortcuts myself. Um, and then, I think I can start entering a left hand. Lovely, there's the first A, then it goes up to an E, and then up to an A again, and then it starts on an E, but down the octave from there, Dom, and then it's a G sharp. Mm. Then it's the same thing. Mm. Right, wonderful, and then, actually I think it does, the left hand's the same, as in there's a bar rest, um, and then it's, yeah, it's exactly the same, I think, in the second phrase as in the first. So I can select all of that. I did that by holding shift and then pressing the left arrow, and I'm just going to press that. And if you press R on the keyboard, it will just repeat the material. So if we press R now, we should get, there we go, that's it. And that, as far as the notes are concerned, looks about right. Um, super. I think we'll leave that there. I think that's probably about enough. So there you go. That's the first phrase of Fair Release. Um, 
on um, on Sebelius using just the keyboard. Hope that was useful. See you next time.